mail call. And by the way, how are you? It's good to see you again. It's always a pleasure. Uh, there, now you can momentarily see me. Uh, I also got a letter. <coughs> and the uh, uh, sweet little postal lady, she says, and it said, Ken Backyard, and I said, Backyard Knife Dude? She said, no, no, I said, she said, it had something to do with swords. I said, Backyard Samurai? And she says, yeah, yeah, Backyard Samurai. I says, that's odd. She says, yeah, it is. I, she says, I remember you telling me you changed that name a long time ago. It's from Carl, Carl Ruger. Thank you, Carl, and I'm glad you're feeling better. Anyway, he sent me his, uh, his logo with the two arrows, and this one is cloth. I don't know if it's iron on or, or what, but I have nothing to iron it on, so I'm just gonna hang on to it. That's really fucking cool. And this one is a sticker. I'm like, neato fucking dude. Thank you very much. No letter, no nothing, just, I said, it's the thought. These speak volumes, thank you. Anyway, mail call big box and it's not such a big box it's a little knife why did they use such a big box well I got me another uh, uh, knife pouch thingy the knife pouch thingy I was using damn it man I swear if I could move to a place that has Zillow, Zillow yeah Zillow zero shit zero allergies I'll change zero allergies to just Zillow. That's Zillow. What does that mean? That means zero allergies. <laughs> I, I would. Anyway, <clears throat> what happened? And by the way, this is the uh, uh, Medford Praetorian Slim. And geez, man, the price of fucking knives, man. I mean, what the fuck? Gosh. Ones I bought a while back for like, yeah, this was maybe seven, eight hundred, but or or maybe it's probably seven, eight hundred with the falling leaf. But you try to get it now, and it's like they want thousands and thousands of dollar in the, your last born child and your your left arm. But anyway, what I did here was I got this. I got this is a Spider Co. Uh, knife pouch. I got three of them. One I got is, is like thinner. The other one I got is uh, a little bit wider. They each hold different. They got two versions. And what I was using for my little itty bitty knives was a, uh, a one that DLT sent me for like free, which I'm not going to turn down, but the, it just is kind of wonky. And it just didn't fit right. The knives are the knife holes are very small. Got me another DLT sticker. I got DLT stickers coming out my ass. You should see it when I go to the bathroom. Okay. So here's the this is I got me another big one. Okay. And these are really cool. You can like you can hang them on the wall, which is what I do when I use these. I use these little rings here, and what I use is I use the Hercules hooks. It, it you you stick it into the wall, and then it, it loops around, and it, man, these things are strong. But and what you can do if, if you want to take them with you, has a nice shoulder strap. And if you want to take the knives with you, you just take them off the wall, and you roll it up. See, nice and big. And especially if you have big knives. If you have a little knife, just, you know, use the, uh, use the pocket clip. You know, they fit in there really nice. See that? Pretty fucking cool, huh? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to swap because my, I have, I'm using three of these. Yeah, so far this style and they're full. <laughs> Shame on me, they're full. And what I do is when I when I have it on the wall, this thing has a tendency to fold down where you can't see the top layer of knives. So what I do 
is I tuck it behind there, like so. Okay, kind of rig it a little bit. So that's that's how I do that. Let's get that back in the box. And we'll go to the knife. This is a Wii knife that came out of DLT. Or from DLT. It's of course China. It was $253. Not bad compared to the knives nowadays, but yeah, it's a, it's a uh, excuse me, it's a Chinese-made knife. <clears throat> I've had something going through me here lately, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe it's the anal version of COVID. So anyway, so let's get this open, and we'll talk about it a little bit. This is the Yucca Yucha. Y-U-C-H-A is the gray titanium liner with carbon fiber scales. The blade is stone washed. I got me a little do not eat pack. I've had two of those today and I don't want to eat another one. Nice little case. WeeKnife.com. Typical Wee. Wee 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 all the way home. Let's get her open and I'll tell you why. I, here's another do not eat pack. And here's the knife. Kind of a rather big knife. It's weighing in at, what do we got here? What we got here is a failure to communicate. It's weighing in at 4.38 ounces. I should have brought a tissue out here, but I didn't. Oh, there we go. Pretty. Kind of like a gentleman's knife, but aggressive enough to Scare the millennials away. Pretty. Carbon fiber, like I said, this is titanium. Now there's been some debate, and I can see why there is debate. First of all, the centering is spot on. The fit and finish, just by the feel of it, is very sweet. These come in different colors. And you look at the link to DLT that I had put at the bottom of this and you can see the different colors they come in. Very smooth on the carbon fiber scales. Come on, work with me. Very smooth. Pocket clip is tip up only. Left or right hand, you can swap it out. Has a nice hole for a lanyard. I like that. Some of these, these people give you a lanyard hole and it's like itty bitty not good nice clip kind of looks just like an ink pen it has some has the Wii emblem with some nice little uh, engraving on it it's a flipper plus it's also a thumb yeah you can use your thumb let's try the flipper now these are ball bearing ceramic ball bearing this is a flat grind and one person referred to this as a compound well to me if it was a compound grind and the whole knife is flat ground then it would have a different grind over here and a different over here and i think what he was trying to say is that there's a, a this little gap here this this like this this line this cosmetic thing and it doesn't if you're looking at it straight on, it doesn't seem to affect the the taper, the grind. It goes down all the way down. Yeah, it goes down all the way down. Jimping, I like jimping. Yay me, I got jimping. Got another finger choil up here I can sit here and use. This, one, this one's healing up a little bit. Okay, nice jimping. Now, here's the deal. You see this right here? Some people call this, they call it a liner lock. But with these scales on here, this is actually a frame lock. Okay, this is the frame. It just has scales on the outside. This is the frame. 
So it would seem to me that this is a frame lock. And I agree and I see what they're saying. The blade is rather sterile. It doesn't have we written anywhere and one person pointed out, and if he hadn't pointed out in his review, I would have never noticed. But right in here, right in there, you have the blade steel, which is a, good thing I wrote it down because I sure as hell can't see that. That's a CPM 535VN. Now this blade is 3.9 inches. Overall, we're looking at 8.7 inches. And it's got this harpoon style, which I like. That's what uh, got me on the whole knife. Oh, we've talked about that, we talked about that, and we talked about that. So, let's talk about some other things and why I like this. This intrigued me for a few reasons. Check out this Unikubi Zakuri. It's a Munitashi Viper and look at the tip of it. It's kind of got a harpoon thingy. I wonder if this is sharp. Because I don't keep my swords too often sharp. Yeah, I think that's sharp. Sharp enough for government work. But that's what caught me on this. And then I was looking at it and I said, you know what else it looks like? It looks like more like the Hanway Raptor Unikubi Zakuri because look at that tip if I can keep it in the frame come on focus yeah that's more of a uh, well look at it yeah buddy I was like, huh, that's almost like a, a knife that's a little Unikubi Zakuri. Then I got to think about the Hogue, and the Hogue, they say, has a harpoon, like, and even the Microtech Stitch. Yeah, so I kind of like that style. And I like that sound. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah. It's like, it's got some jimping back here for your palm. It's good. Let's see how it opens with the finger. All right, that'll take a little bit. That'll take a little bit of, I never was good at, at this. Maybe if it breaks in after a while, but that's okay. We'll just flip it away for a few days. There we go. Come on. That'll work. Yeah. I mean, nicely done. Nice little gold accent right here. Kind of like a, a bronze gold. Feels good. Feels great in the hand. Very, I mean, cosmetically, it feels great. How sharp are we? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's get a little bit of this catalog paper here. <clears throat> yeah, very sweet. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, well, there you have it. Cool beans. I'm gonna go play with my uh, play with my little new case and rearrange everything after I have some tea. And on that note, you have a wonderful day. I have to go now. I'm terribly fucking busy.